Hi, and welcome back to SAT Biology Review. I'm your instructor, Liz, and today we are learning about photosynthesis. This is lesson number five, talking about photosynthesis, light reactions, and the Calvin cycle. Remember that last session we talked about cellular respiration in living things, which is getting energy from glucose Photosynthesis is all about using energy to make glucose in plants. Photosynthesis. All organisms need energy. This much is obvious. Herbivores get their energy from plants. Carnivores get their energy from herbivores or other carnivores. So the source for all of energy for all of those levels comes from photosynthesis because plants use photosynthesis to get energy from the sun. Plants are autotrophs, self-feeders, and make their own chemical energy from the energy of the sun via photosynthesis. So this chemical energy is used to produce glucose, which is then used to make ATP, which is used for energy-driven processes within the plant. So, in a nutshell, uh, photosynthesis is using chemical energy to make glucose, and then the plant will use this glucose to make ATP through cellular respiration, which we already learned about, to drive the processes within the plants. So, and I mentioned earlier that plants are autotrophs, and they get their chemical energy from the sun. There are also some prokaryotes that get their energy through photosynthesis as well. Um, cyanobacteria, which are a blue-green algae, also get their energy from the sun. So photosynthesis supports almost all, pretty much all living systems, since plants um, get their energy through photosynthesis, photosynthesis herbivores get their energy from plants, carnivores get their energy from herbivores. So this step right here is really the first step on the food chain, most important step. So photosynthesis occurs in the chloroplast of plants, which is an organelle specific to plants. Chloroplasts are found primarily in the mesophyll, the green tissue in the inside of the leaf. The leaf also contains stomata, pores on the surface of the leaf, which allow carbon dioxide in and oxygen out. So, if you were to rip open a leaf diagonally so that you could see the different layers of a leaf, mesophyll would kind of be the somewhat greener, somewhat spongier middle of the leaf. And then stomata, are these tiny little holes on the surface of the leaf which can let different gases in and out. Um, you can sometimes see them on the underside of the leaf. So in prokaryotes actually, I mentioned that some prokaryotes undergo photosynthesis. Photosynthesis wouldn't occur in the chloroplast because prokaryotes don't have organelles. So in prokaryotes, photosynthesis would actually just take place in the cytoplasm. So let's learn a little bit more about the chloroplast. So this is the chloroplast. So chloroplasts have an inner and outer membrane. Inner membrane, outer membrane. Within the inner membrane is a fluid called the stroma. So just 